Hey everyone, Linda here, coming back at you with another video today. Sorry I didn't get to post a video this weekend. I was planning on it, but it didn't happen. And I also wanted to let everyone know that I did get the books mailed out, except for three books. I have three books that I need to mail out. I will mail them out this coming weekend uh, because I'm not getting off early enough to go to the post office. And mail off because I ran out of mailing packages and I also needed a uh, custom form because I got a book I got to send overseas. Um, so I will get those uh, three books mailed out uh, this weekend. So just bear with me. But everybody else, I sent an email. So if you didn't get an email from me, uh, just know that I will be getting your book sent out this weekend. I just got three more books and then that'll be all the books. I have all the books mailed out. And to those people that I did send an email to, uh, please let me know when you receive your books. So I would just want to make sure that you did get your book. And I did send an email with uh, a confirmation number um, in the email. And as you can see, I have my reveal book box. We back to the pink box because I think last month I had a white box. Uh, but we're back to the pink reveal book box. So let's get this open and see what um, I got for February. Mm -hmm. Hope everyone's doing great today and staying safe out there. Uh, let's see what we got. Got a card here and it says, thank you from the reveal team. Dear Rita, thank you for your purchase. We hope you love your box. Reviews are so important to small businesses like ours. If you love your box and would be willing to leave a short review where you purchased Amazon or Crate Joy, we'd be so grateful. Faith, Facebook reviews help too. So it's just a little something. Uh, so I guess I'll go on uh, Instagram and post my reveal book box uh, on there. And give them some shout outs next I have uh, this little is this a sticker I think it's a sticker but it said wine and it said drink wine and read and that said JD Hollyfield see it on there kinda shiny next I have some book cards here Sydney Landon, Fighting for You, coming February the 4th, so that should already be out. And check her out. Here's a little synopsis of the book on the back. Ella Weber has spent years uncomfortable around the opposite sex, but as soon as she meets handsome Declan Stone, she is smitten. Quickly, they become friends, finding frequent reasons to see each other around the office. So this is going to be an office romance. And Ella longs for even more. So with a little help from her friends, Ella resorts to performing a little seduction, one that Declan will never be able to resist. That sounds interesting. Have any of you read any books by Sydney Landon? And that is Fighting for You. Nice little book card. And here go Kennedy Fox here. Uh, with her with all the information to their uh, books because I think this is uh, uh, two ladies writing as uh, Kennedy Fox I don't know what their names are uh, but I think it's uh, two different uh, two women writing as Kennedy Fox and there's all their media information if you want to check out their books and where their books are sold uh, I think I mentioned before I like that little logo and here are some uh, they got some series here. You got the Checkmate Duet series, the Roommate Duet series, X Con Duet series. What? X Con. Okay. <laughs> and then we got Bedtime Read series, Bishop Brothers series, Circle B Ranch series, and Love in Isolation series. I haven't read anything by Kennedy Fox. Uh, let me know if I would want to check out any of these. Uh, series on the back of here but I think I did get a book uh, from Kennedy Fox in the reveal book box I just haven't read it yet so let me know out there what you think about uh, Kennedy Fox and we got the candle crest here and there's the information back there and in the, in the coupon code if you want to go and check out some of their candles 
on their website and there's the website uh, right there candlecrest.com and this say let it snow I guess this is a window a winter candle it smells pretty good we got some candy here the little pixie stick got a pen here say where suspense and heat collide and that's KLM on there we have another little card here this is a uh, Kaylee Kaylee Ryan and Lacey Black uh, these are some of the, I guess they're writing together um, the first book it's not over then you got just getting started and then you what this is can't fight it have any of you read any of these books by Kaylee Ryan and Lacey Black and there's some more information and there's their website listed right there and there's some little synopsis to tell you about the book if you want to pause it and read the read what those synopsis are on each one of those books I like this card this is pretty neat And the first book I have here is, I guess this is another office romance here. Uh, no, oh, is he unzipping her dress there? Okay, boss, I love boss, I love to hate. So we got a uh, this look like it's gonna be a office romance, and this is by Mia Kayla. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Let's see it there. Look in here and see what's inside. Set XOXO by Mia Kayla. Look at the chapters in here. They're just regular chapters. See how many pages we got in here. Uh, let's see here. 356 pages. A nice little hefty book there. I'll read the synopsis on the back of here. Dear Mr. Bricken. I guess that's what that is. Bricken. Bricken? B I guess that's an S right there. B R I S K E N. Briskin? Maybe that's Briskin. Dear Mr. Briskin, how do I hate you? Let me count the ways. One, I hate your smug, sexy, millionaire face. Of course, it got to be a millionaire. <laughs> Two, I hate your cocky, skirt chasing, playboy ways. Okay. I hate working as your secretary, but I love the pay. It also makes dealing with you worth it. I hate how my friends call you a B-I-L-F when really B-I-L-K, boss I like to kill, is more pro. Okay, I know what this is. <laughs> B-I-L-F, but they didn't put that in parentheses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the boss I like to kill is more appropriate. And number five, I hate that I need you to be my date for my best. Okay, so this is the dating trope, fake dating trope, and a uh, office romance trope. So if you like those tropes, you might want to check this one out. Uh, let me finish reading this. I hate that I need you to be my date for for my best friend wedding because my ex-boyfriend, the king of heartbreakers, and his new busty blonde girlfriend will be in be in attendance. But mostly I hate how once the charade is over, I might not hate you at all. It was so much easier when you were the boss. I love to hate. Okay, sound interesting. I like this cover here. This sound interesting. I hope it's good. That sounds pretty interesting. And then next I have, this is Betrayed. Look at that cover. Okay. Betrayed by A.K. Evans. Cunningham Security. Oh, this book number eight. You can see it right there. Book eight. They say money can't buy happiness. I like this cover. These covers got it going on. Oh, got the card here of, of all the books in the series, I guess. You got Obsessed, Overcome, Desperate, Solitude, Burned, Unworthy, Surrender, Betrayed, Revived. And all of them are, um, you got the, the man with his chest out on all the covers. Okay, I see you. Okay, you got the chest picks. 
Cunningham Security. And there's her, um, the author's information on the back. A.K. Evans. If you want to check out her website. And some of these books. Have any of you read any of these books? Look at those covers. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. And there's her um, signature. Oh, and this was published. Oh, this is a. Uh, uh, this was published back in uh, 2019. Oh, and look at the cover. Look at the uh, cover there. The chapter cover. Well, this is the prologue right here. Yeah, the chapters. That's pretty neat. Got fancy chapters. Let's see how many pages in here. And this is 263 pages. And let's read the back of this. They say money can't buy happiness. Quinn Jacob wasn't sure she agreed. After all, she had everything she needed. The perfect marriage, loads of cash, and not a care in the world. So it never dawned on her that she'd end up in her current situation. Deceived and divorced. After being betrayed by her husband and best friend. Uh, that's, that right there kick you in the gut right there. Yeah. Your husband had to cheat, but he had to cheat with your best friend. What? what why? <laughs> How messed up is that? Really? Okay. Quinn has no choice but to pick herself up and move on. Taylor Reed might not have millions, but he's got one thing money can't buy. Loyalty. In the form of a large, loud, in-his-business family and dozen of friends, they're all his and he wouldn't dream of changing that. The last thing Quinn needs is to hop into another relationship, but when Tyler shows up to install her new security system, she finds him irre irresistibly charming. As Quinn tries to find a way as Quinn tries to find a way, trust, okay, as Quinn tries to find a way, trust a man again, find a way to trust a man again. Okay, we're missing something there. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what is this? You, you always taking a risk when you're reading these out loud? Because sometimes it don't make, sometimes, yeah, <laughs> either I'm not reading it right or a word is missing and it don't sound right. <laughs> and then you start stumbling over your words. I'm like, uh, this don't sound right right here. As Quinn tries to find a way, trust, something missing between way and trust. A way to trust a man again, Tyson works to heal her battered heart. And as the string of betrayal begins to fade, and as the sting of betrayal begins to fade, Quinn learns that loyalty is something that can never be bought. Okay, that sounds interesting. And I like this cover. Okay, that sounds very in Cunningham Security Book 8. Now, if this is good, I'll go back and start at Book 1. I guess Book 1 is going to be uh, Obsessed right there. Maybe I'll go back and read Book 1. Maybe. Ho hopefully, this will be good enough and I can go back and read it. I hope so. Uh, also, there was a pen in here. Proud Romance Reader. Uh, there go revealbookbox.com uh, on there if you want to go and check them out but I also have a link below uh, with my uh, code down there or you can just go to the revealbookbox.com and you don't have to use my code and we also had another pixie stick in here so I had two pixie sticks I used to love these when I was a kid you know just open up and just uh, pour them in your mouth and nothing but pure sugar. <laughs> I used to love these. All right. Well, that's all I got for now. I like my two books here. And uh, I got to do a little staging to uh, show what I got on uh, Instagram. I mean, uh, link uh, real reveal book box in there so they can see that I did post my reveal book box for February. And I'm, I'm pretty uh, satisfied with my books. They, they sounded pretty good. I'll have to give both of those a try. But that's all I have for now. Let me close this on back up here if I can. Oh, I'm going to leave my pixie sticks out there. I put them back up in here. I might eat those. Leave those out. But that's all I got for now. There we go. Got it back in there. 
that's all I got for now. And until next time, keep reading those romance. Stay safe out there and take care of yourself. Bye.